I was raised in a family of six children in Willowick, Ohio. I had one brother and four sisters, and some of us were fairly close in age. In the summer, we were sent outdoors as a group to play with the other kids in the neighborhood. My mom's departing words to all of us were, watch out for your sisters and brothers. From a young age, we were taught a good lesson. We are our brother's keeper. It was our duty to do the best we could to ensure that one another did not get hurt or in trouble. And if someone did do something wrong, we had a responsibility to do something about it. Our scripture readings today remind us of this lesson. We do have a responsibility for one another. And if we see someone doing something wrong, we should try to do something about it. Ezekiel the prophet describes himself as a sentinel or a watchman for his brothers and sisters. It was the job of the sentinel to be at his post, watching and waiting to see any trouble which might endanger the safety of the community. The Gospel reading today gives us some general reflections on the process of helping others when they do wrong to us or to others. Just like the shepherd goes off to find the sheep who went astray, so too are we to care enough about one another that we seek out those who go astray. You start the process by doing it in a very private, respectful way. You do not go and tell others what he did to you. You go to him in a loving way and tell him what you have seen or experienced. You try to work it out and maybe even try several times. If that fails, it is okay to go and get some help from two or three others to confront him. When two or three do so with you, you remember that when two or three gather in Jesus' name, he is present. Whatever you say to the offender, you say with the realization that Christ is part of this conversation. If this fails, you can then take it to a higher authority. If that fails, pray and treat him as you would treat a tax collector or a Gentile. You wait for the opportunity to forgive and to help. Each of us have to figure out how to actually engage in this process, but it is essentially a very gentle private process with repeated efforts to reconcile and ensure the well-being of one another. One other thing to add is the reminder you always need to remember that you have to take the plank out of your own eye before you attempt taking the splinter out of your neighbor's eye. A woman once traveled a great distance to take her son to Gandhi in India so that he could tell the young man to not eat too many sweets. Gandhi told the woman to come back in two weeks. Two weeks later, she traveled the great distance again. Gandhi told her son, stop eating so many sweets, and he agreed. The woman asked Gandhi, why did you not tell him that last week and save me the long trip again? Gandhi said two weeks ago, I was eating too many sweets. I needed to see if I could stop before I told him to do so. Remember, correct your own faults before addressing those of others.